Talking about this country of AIDS The America really wants a hip hop game Africa was having very multiple chains And if you had a feeling that sent you a lane Before the Afro culture was cool again Unifying a plea Africa Bring back the golden age Bring back the golden age Open Africa in the mission was Yeah, I got a bundle for you today. Become king, a black man pillaging the coffers of the squatters in the village. The African dream was overseas, but then he couldn't leave the one who drew the yeah, that's Cactus Cusini. I'm talking to him today, so if you see Cactus Cusini, tell him to log on. We go, we go. I'm a VIP. Let's go. <laughs> Yo, my man, Vipi. Vipi, Vipi. Can you hear me? Can hear you. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Say, my man, boy. You're loud you and right? clear. You are loud and clear. You, you might you want to me? turn up your volume a little bit. Well, I'm a little low. Yeah. Okay, okay. That's a fire thing. How are you doing, that? my brother? You okay? I'm good. Yeah. How this quarantine thing going on? Uh. Well, it it depends. You know, like for me, it's not a big difference because I work from the house, so I'm just okay. I've been on quarantine all. Through. Yeah. <laughs> you on been a yeah, self post on for a while. Okay. Uh, yeah, I've been on self post on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Listen, yeah. we got something yeah. here, my man. I'ma let it, I'ma let this break for a while, yeah. It's a brand new single, okay. this one, right? Right? Okay. Right. Mm. <laughs> Yo, listen, yeah? Listen. Yo, this is hard. I gotta say that, yeah? This is hard. So, ladies and gentlemen, everybody out there, if you're gonna link in for this letter on YouTube, whatever, whatever, Candid yeah. Convo, I'm talking to my man, Cactus Kusini. Welcome, my man. Welcome. Cheers, cheers, man. Right. Talk to me about something. Um, you done it where you are, right? Um, yeah. Just uh, give us, how did this come about? How, um, how, did we, how did we end up here? How did you start? Uh, start like uh, 
I don't know. Start the song or start like what do you no, mean? No, your music career. How did you start? Like my take career. Me to, yeah, take me back a little bit. Uh, I started back 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 in the day when I was in, as a student in school. Okay. And I really liked. I loved rap and I loved. Back in the day when when hip hop when hip hop hit us for the first time, we were listening to Tupac and Biggie. Okay. And the first time I was introduced to hip hop, I was introduced to a beef that was going on between Tupac and Biggie. All right. Mm -hmm. Then I wasn't so keen, but I I you know I like the, I just like the sound of the music. And then Tupac died, and then now hip hop began exploding. Then Biggie, then, then you know we started getting. We do their music. We do. We weren't turning. Up. We never thought we'd be rappers. We just okay. you know we'd drop a few rhymes and feel like you're Tupac, you know, that yeah. kind of thing. We, we were one yeah, of these. The, and, uh, yeah, you, you do that. One of the Tupac song and freestyle with your friends. Freestyle with your friends and feel feel nice, you know. And mm. and dress up, you know, and and sag your pants, and you know, feel all hip hop and stuff. That's that that yeah. was the thing. Yeah. Okay. But as, yeah, then you know, we're, we're trying to fit in. We're trying to be cool. Mm. But uh, as time went, it became more and more serious. Slowly, step by step, it became more and more serious. Yeah. Okay. To the point now, we started composing our own music. You know, all we started right. rehearsing our own lyrics. We started uh, creating our own compositions and and you know and doing oh. our own thing. Interesting, yeah. interesting. Yeah. Right. Um. This was some time back. Like, how long have you been doing this? How long have you been in the game? Uh. You know, if you're talking about Tupac, Tupac's death, you know that that's the mid nineties. Oh, yeah, I know. So, you, ten years, that's, ten years, more than ten years. More than ten years, cause uh. Right. Okay, if I say it's on a serious level, yeah. You mm. know, there's a, there's when you're an amateur, you're just trying, and then there's a serious level. Okay. Yeah. So definitely. on a serious level, maybe from from high school till mm. the end of high school, you're talking about uh, late nineties, early two thousand, say two thousand, there about. So mm. that's like twenty. We're in twenty twenty. Yeah. <laughs> Flies, that's quite brother. a while it's quite a while but but i can't say that i was professional back then i, I was getting I, I was getting like um my interaction with the media mm. began around 2000 and, and 2005 say that was my okay. first interaction with the media right now on that note i'm gonna take you somewhere here <laughs> Right. Yeah, I know that one. I know that one. I know that one. I big man, I know that one. I know that one. I know that one. I know that to see Sorte, to the all culture. Bye. 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 Those were yeah. the days. Now take me back, basically. Um, yeah. So, 
That's what some of your earlier tracks, right? At this particular time, I'm going to bring this to the attention. There's been a journey through life, and you kind of um, came to your spiritual awakening. But this was yeah. before that. This was before yeah. that when you was out there. And uh, yeah. I can still see, um, hold on a minute. I can still feel like you were doing it. You were doing it like um, there's, uh, how should I say this? Your versatility, like bars. You like bars, don't you? <laughs> you have to say something well once you're on the mic, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Right? But also, uh, something else I realized is um, you are witty with it, right? You are witty. And uh, maybe at that time you're mirroring what's happening to the society or around you, like, uh, yeah. like here. Right? Yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> about this tune for a while um i remember i was back home around that time yeah. it was i think 2007 right that's when we linked up and uh passed by your studio by the way i gotta say this real quick and get it out of the way shout out to your parents though fam right because um, at this time to your parents right at this time you had a home studio didn't you right yeah, i was at home yeah i was at my Yo. parents yeah, and yeah. you dad could let bare people, a lot of boys, be coming in the gate and going to the <laughs> studio. And like, and at that time, and, and he stood yeah. there and he said, How oh, boys are you doing? And all that, right? Yeah, at that yeah. time, I wasn't a parent, yeah. I'm telling you this yeah. right now. Me, I'm not going to let those kind of boys come around my house. I don't care what you're <laughs> coming to do. I no don't way. Care. <laughs> I don't <Yeah>. care. <laughs> <laughs> but shout out to them though, right? Like for real. Yeah, now I'm a parent. Yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah, letting yeah. you and your group of boys go in. I don't care what you're doing. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's for real. So talk to me yeah. now. Bring me up to speed up up until there. How did you get into your first studio recording session and all that and all that? Uh my first session, wow. Mm. Uh, actually, you know, when when I started, actually, you'd be surprised to know I started as a gospel artist. Oh, so it's a whole thing over here. Yeah. <laughs> actually, I what see. happened? You know, back back in the day, mm. the the only the the real platforms you could get to to perform outside of school was church, because okay. church had the yeah. youth program and all that, you know. So we'd right, be hanging right. out at the church and we'd do our rhymes and there'd be a concert and then we'd get on stage and do all that thing. Okay. But uh, it took several years before we, we, we got into a studio because uh, studios were really expensive. Or rather, we and had rare. no money at that. And they we were rare. Came. I think, yeah, there were like yeah. around five or four studios yeah, around very the whole studios Nairobi that time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it was yeah. rare. And, um, and so, and you know, we uh, were... We didn't have like connections for a deal or something, you know. If you, if you have to get mm -hmm. to the studio, you have to go and look for some some money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I remember the very first time we got into a professional studio. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I had a there's a we had we had like should I we had a group yeah, mm -hmm. and one of one of the guys there's a guy who we used to rap with yeah, who who had like um, the guy passed away. 
he, oh, he was one of us the guy from Story. He was a real he was a real mentor. He taught us a lot of he taught me personally a lot of you know the elements of, of rap and all that kind of thing. Now what he okay. did, he went and he had his own his own like servants quarter where we used to go and rap from his home yeah. Mm. And he had a small TV. So he went and sold that TV. Oh. And the money he got, we went to studio. And oh. <laughs> and we recorded something. What and, studio? Uh, I think that was the first time. And that, that studio was um it was called EWD. Ah, uh, no. EWD, EWD, yeah, it was called, yeah. Uh, yeah, you knew it was EWD somewhere. in town. Yeah, in, in the city, somewhere. Nairobi. Yeah, yeah, somewhere upstairs yeah. in one of the buildings. Yeah, somewhere upstairs, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the first EWD. place we ever went. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. But you know, even at that time, the producer wasn't so hip hop, you know, he wasn't, he wasn't really feeling what he was producing because mm. uh, he, was, he wasn't like hip hop background and, and that kind of thing. So, so we really okay. the product wasn't as good as we anticipated, yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. So actually, uh, the uh, one of the actually, yeah. Mm. One of the guys we, we, we started rapping out with was called uh, Mswati. He's on the he, I see ah. him online. He's talking about seventh floor. Oh, he's talking about Mswati. That's family. <laughs> he's on the seventh floor. That's where we used to go and, and drop our class and stuff. Okay. Yo, he shout out to Swati. That's family right there. Bless, bless. <laughs> yes, yeah, so Swati was one of them. Uh, so yeah. what time was this? Was this uh, Southwest? Was this AK? Uh, bring us to all that, to how it came to be AK. So at that time, we were, I remember, you know, we, we had names. Actually, uh, what? It's what a we used to do... Yeah, um, I don't think we had really, what we were, we used to call ourselves South Gates. South Gates, okay. South Gates. South Gates, uh, actually that name is Mswati who came up with it, yeah? It came from, uh, you know, um, we live in Kahawa Sukari Estate. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, Kahawa Sukari Estate. Massive. Shuge Massive. Kahawa Sukari Estate is divided into two. There's the north side, there's the south side. All right. So we came from the south side of Kahawa Sukari. Mm -hmm. And you know, back in the day, we used to pride ourselves, like, you know, the south side is for the guy, for the hood guys, because yeah. all the rich guys came yeah. from the north. Yeah, your, your ends. Oh, yeah, so that's where the yeah, south you, comes you, from. You, you... I see, I see. All and right, the, so and the, the south gate came from there. South gates, yeah, and the gates came from they, they were doing some security gates at that time. So like your know, South Gates. Yeah, I remember. South, that's yeah. What so the South Gate, South Gate. Yeah. So who was in this crew? There was Swati. <laughs> yeah, there was Swati. He, had, he went by a different name. I also went by a different name back then. Oh. And then Okay. <laughs> yeah, different stage names. <laughs> but uh, but he was South well, Gates. Well, yeah. It was me and mm -hmm. Swati there was I think we were the serious guys in the in the crew. Okay. We're the serious guys. 